director of the UNU wider FinTARP, distinguished experts and colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great honor to welcome you all to the UNU wider conference in Helsinki. In this conference, we will be witnessing world-leading experts providing views and results on the themes that UNU wider research has focused on uh, for more than 30 years. I, I'm convinced these will be valuable days in many ways. For the last 10 years, Professor Fintarp has worked as the director of the UNU wider. This has been a period of very active and productive research. UNU wider has recently been ranked as one of the topmost think tanks and research institutions in the field of development. What happens? I did something wrong here. No. I don't touch that anymore. <laughs> so, um, so UN U wider has recently been ranked as one of the topmost think tanks and research institutions in the field of development in, in the whole world. This is a major achievement. Congratulations, Finn, for the inspiring and forward-looking leadership. This success is also a, an achievement of the various networks of experts that are truly global. As we can see here today, when we look around, UNU wider has gathered the most distinguished and academically honored researchers on development in the same room. We are now harvesting, so to speak, the fruits of your work. Ladies and gentlemen, what is UNU wider? For more than 30 years, Institute has been associated with uh, some of the most advanced thinking in development economics. Since the Institute starts in 1985, UNU wider has undertaken research on all the principal themes of development economics. It has created a global network of thousands of researchers from all over the globe. Helsinki has become the hub of this network, producing knowledge of real value to policymakers and practitioners in the developing world across the UN and to the international community more broadly. The Institute has undertaken cutting edge research on topics such as poverty, inequality, economic transformation, development finance, climate change, gender and food security, to mention just a few. However, I looked at UNU wider from a particular perspective. Top quality research is important, but even more important is that the research results are valuable for the development community. As a minister responsible for development policy and development cooperation, I want to see that results can be used for the benefit of the developing countries. I think that uh, this vision has been very much shared in UN, by UNU wider. First, research is more useful when the publications are available free of charge to experts in developing countries and developed countries alike. Institute publication policy has been very open, which is uh, one reason why they are so well re read and cited. Second, providing opportunities for young researchers to present their initial work in the same networks with very prominent researchers is a special accomplishment. It is noteworthy that UNU wider has been able to recruit many young female economists in, into its research teams. This is remarkable, considering how much the field of development economics is dominated by men. Third, uh, research cooperation is useful when it creates databases, like uh, databases on in inequality and on government re revenues. These databases can be used by both 
researchers and administrators in the developing countries. Distinguished experts and colleagues, Finland has had the honor to host UNU wider for 30 years. We think that institute has grown during this period to a remarkable institution. It has also shown its relevance for the future. UNU wider is very well positioned to undertake policy relevant research on key themes of the Sustainable Development Goals agenda. Finland has over the years supported UNU wider UNU wider's thematic research, including the most pressing concerns of our time, alongside like-minded donor countries such as Denmark, Sweden and United Kingdom. More recently, we have noticed the Institute's engagements in the series of Finland's bilateral partner countries. To il illustrate UNU wider has become a key partner in Finland's engagement with Mozambique and Tanzania, where UNU wider works uh, with the respective governments to implement policies focused on achieving series of the goals and targets of Agenda 2030. Most recently, Finland and UNU wider have intensified the collaboration in the area of taxation and development where uh, we support the institute's research and capacity, capacity building activities on innovative tax systems in developing countries. In this way, Finland and UNU wider are working together to help con convert the 2030 agenda's many goals and targets into operational priorities at country level. Ladies and gentlemen, let me conclude by providing a very warm welcome to the Professor Kunal Sen. As the beginning of next year, Professor Sen will be taking over as a new director of UNU wider. I'm very much looking forward to continuing our close co cooperation with you and the whole institute. I wish all of you a fruitful conference and discussions, not forgetting the most valuable coffee break. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>